Homeworld 3, the latest instalment in the legendary real-time strategy series by Blackbird Interactive. After years of anticipation, the game has finally been released, so let's have a look at the first half an hour of the game and give you our first impressions. So the game retains the core mechanics that made the original game so popular. This is a space combat RTS and it keeps things traditional in that way. Players command fleets of ships, manage resources and engage in strategic combat across fully three-dimensional space. The signature tactical depth is back with a few modern enhancements. The game introduces new mechanics like terrain interaction, asteroid fields, space debris and derelict ships aren't just a visual set piece but they offer strategic cover and ambush opportunities. Mastering the use of these environmental features is crucial to gaining the upper hand in battles. The game does a good job of teaching you the controls. You have a couple of presets here you can play in a more modern layout or use the legacy controls like previous games. This is very much a game where you will be using most of your keyboard guys, it's quite a complex RTS so it's not for beginner gamers. You have a story mode as well, plenty of custom modes and online competitive play with this one. Visually, Homeworld 3 looks great, probably the best looking space game out currently. Highly detailed ship models, vibrant explosions, the level of polish in the visual presentation is top notch. The campaign mode has a lot of good cutscenes too, seamlessly transitioned with open gameplay. Ship designs are both familiar and fresh, staying true to the series aesthetic while adding new elements that enhance the futuristic feel. Definitely a traditional science fiction look and feel to the game, it's a bit less of a cold colour palette than most space games, expect kind of Star Wars style environment and feel. Now the sound design is equally impressive, a haunting soundtrack that complements the game's tone perfectly, has a futuristic vibe overall, you have a few tribal and traditional sci-fi elements in there as well, it creates a great atmosphere. There's also great sound effects and the game is extremely well voice acted. Garen Command, this is the Karkushan. So let's talk about the story and this is an RTS game as I've said so the gameplay is really in the mechanics not so much the story and I'll be honest with you I've only played the first 30 minutes and I haven't really been that compelled by the storytelling so far. You pick up where Homeworld 2 left off, delving deeper into the lore of the Higarian people. The narrative is rich, filled with high stakes conflict and space politics. You follow Imogen Sajet, essentially plugged into your mothership. Now the character for me is not overly compelling, but fans of the series will appreciate the attention to detail. Now I did find the humming scene a little bit creepy at the start, I'm not sure if this was intentional, but I'll give them the benefit of the doubt on this one. They have put a lot of effort into this campaign mode and I'll definitely be giving it a chance, but really it isn't the game you should get if you're just into story. After this first impressions from the first 30 minutes or so of the game, I would recommend this title to both RTS and sci-fi game fans. The game does have a lot of DLC content coming up as well, so we'll see how the game progresses. Let's come back to Homeworld 3 in the near future, and don't forget to subscribe to GameWise for more PC gaming.